The RTX, <laughs> the RTX 4090 <laughs> is under testing. <laughs> Nvidia is using GPUs to make GPUs and uh, you can ray trace doom on AMD cards. Well, friends, if you're feeling particularly low this Wednesday, why don't you come join us over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple, right as this video goes live. We're gonna be doing meme review right now where there's a prize for the person who has the best meme submitted over on our subreddit, as well as the fact that if you do come watch us over on on Twitch are gonna be a part of the giveaway of a PC that we're doing for the month of April. So come join us over on Twitch. We'd love to see you there because it's Wednesday, my dudes, and it's 420. Blaze it. <laughs> Let's get into the 420 hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. Oh, you <coughs> enjoy your breakfast. It's thick over here. Damn, boy, <laughs> he's thick. Boy, I've got a thick ass boy. It's Damn. so thick. Ba -ba! Let's start today by talking about the highest news that we can, which is the RTX 4090. It's going to be the dankest, dopest GPU that you've ever seen. And according to reports, Nvidia has begun testing on this next generation of GPUs. However, there's a little controversy going around with the name that it might not be high enough because the RTX 4090 might not exist. It actually might end up being called the RTX 5090. Why wouldn't they call it the RTX 429, huh? Because they're lame, that's right. Anyways, 8102 has begun testing, which is the next generation chip. And according to reports, it's gonna feature Micron's new 24 gigabit per second memory, which is the faster version, which is even higher than what's on the 3090 Ti right now, which is pretty dope in my opinion, which would allow us to see over one terabyte per second of memory speeds on a regular gaming desktop graphics card, which is quite high. And from the indications that we have early on, it looks like the RTX 4090 should should be about 71% faster than what the current RTX 3090 Ti is right now, having that much of a lead on the SMs over the RTX 3090 Ti with it being so big. Obviously, we're waiting on these cards. They're supposed to pull at least 420 watts. Some reports are 450 to 600 watts in the TDP, which is just, that's a high amount of power to just pull. They're supposed to be very big GPUs, but Nvidia also came out and started talking about how they use their GPUs to make more GPUs. Yo dog, I heard you like GPUs, so I used a GPU to make your GPU so that you could put your GPU in your GPU. Using AI and machine learning from their already existing cards, they use their GPUs to make new designs of other graphics cards and, and specifically to map out things like voltage drops and predicting parasitics place and routing challenges and automating standard cell migration. We'll leave a link in the video description in case you're interested in the very specifics of that, but it's pretty dank indeed. But now let's go ahead and talk about the dopest thing of all, crypto stonks. Bitcoin's up 1.8% to almost be at $42,000, but it's at 41,407. It's not almost there. It's almost at 41,42069. Oh, it's closer to that. Hey, Ethereum up 2.86% to be at almost $3,100 and Dogecoin up 2.5% to be at 14.2 cents. But in case you keep your crypto stuff up in the cloud, high in the smoke, well, maybe consider not doing that because there is an iCloud crypto hack that happened where somebody lost $650,000 because of just social engineering that allowed them to have access to their iCloud stuff. However, one of the issues that pops up here is that MetaMask automatically syncs your seed phrase to your iCloud account and thereby once they got into his iCloud, they were able to access his MetaMask account, which thereby gave them access to the $650,000 worth of crypto from a singular individual. MetaMask responding by saying, hey, uh, here's how you can turn that off in case you, you don't want to have your seed phrase just stored in the cloud. Also, don't be social engineered. However, good social engineers can social engineer anybody. And so, I mean, just maybe don't be your own bank is the lesson here. That could never be it. But in case you're tired of having high things like high prices and stuff, let's talk about lower prices. We got UFD deals, bringing you the hottest tech deals on the internet right now, okay? We got the Corsair 4000D case going for $74.99 over on Amazon right now. That's a discount of 30%. We've got the Lenovo Flex 5, a laptop that I've reviewed several times, absolutely love, with the Ryzen 5 5500U coming in at $580. And the i5-12400 
CPU from Intel at its lowest price in 30 days at only $175. That is 26% off right now for one of the best CPUs out there. Flesh Brett forgot to segue to Reese's Corner. So AI Brett is here to do that. Enjoy Reese's Corner. Hey everyone, welcome to Reese's Corner. We'll have a dope clip for you guys to check out every single week. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and I chose violence. So be sure to send this to your friends if you want to ruin their day. Roll it. If you'd like to submit a clip for Reese's Corner, you can do so over on our subreddit link down below. Make sure to use the Reese's Corner flair and we'll check it out. Until next week, cheers. Thank you, Reese. Very cool. AI Brit was impressed. And in case you want to customize your PC, Newegg wants to help you with that. They're launching a laser engraving service as part of their ENIAC division, which is their computer building division. So in case you want the custom PC assembly, you could potentially get any of these cases laser engraved so that you can put whatever you want. Like, I don't know. 420 blaze it. Oh yeah. It's just a fog machine. <laughs> I shouldn't have pointed that in my face. Hot news, more like high news. Got him. But Dell wants to go to the opposite of custom gaming PCs. They want to lock everything down with them announcing their new proprietary DDR5 module, which makes it so that you actually can't replace their RAM in their upcoming laptops. Instead, they're replacing them with their own cam modules or compress attached memory module, essentially being soldered to the board. The idea behind this is that it replaces two SODIMM slots with a single setup. So it kind of makes sense for space saving reasons. However, it makes less sense for repairability etc moving on down the line so one of the most common things that people do with their laptops is upgrading your ram you're not going to be able to do it this time but what you will be able to do is now add ray tracing doom to your amd gpus this was announced that it was going to be a coming feature for pr boom which is the ray traced version of doom it worked on nvidia cards in fact we did a video on it over on uft tech that you can check out for nvidia cards but now if your gpu supports vulcan ray tracing it will actually ray trace this game so you can check that out in case you're interested and in case you're interested in really fast laptops. Intel's going to have that for you. They've got an upcoming 16 core Alder Lake HX CPU, according to new leaks that are coming out there. Not just the fact that it'll have 16 cores and 24 threads based on their new heterogeneous architecture, but it'll also boost up to five gigahertz, which is incredibly fast. And in fact, UFD Tech just did a video on the 14 core version of this, the i9-12900H laptop, which you can check out in a video that we did yesterday. That one's fully sponsored by Intel, so there's not a ton of like raw benchmark reviewing. It's more just kind of an overview on how we've integrated that laptop in the production that we're doing rather than just how uh, it stacks up against anything. But still, i9-12900H, not a bad chip. So I'm excited to see what they could potentially do with 16 cores. That's going to be the end of Hot news today, don't forget that we're currently streaming over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash UFDisciple. We'd love to see you over there. Come join us. You could potentially win some merch in case you had the best submitted meme, but you could also be part of the PC giveaway that we're doing for the month of April. And with that being said, I'm Brett with your hot news, and I'll see you tomorrow on 421, which is not as exciting. But don't mind me. I'll just... Gonna disappear now.